today we are here to learn the relationships between the key components of ABD. Before we find out the relationship, let's check out what are the key components. Well, don't be surprised, you already know. Well, if you're looking at my screen, of course you know. Well, if you're guessing then, and if you said host pools, session host, app groups, then yes, you are correct. We do have more components, we know that, like gateway, connection broker, load balancer, uh, but those are, the, those are the components which are managed by Microsoft and that is the beauty of ABD. So we need not to worry about those relationships, but these one we should because these will help us to design the architecture in the most appropriate way. So what do we know? Well, we know Azure Virtual Desktop is a service that gives users easy and secure access to their virtualized desktop and remote apps. What? If you hear me, I said desktop and applications, yes. We have covered that already, but I just wanted to say it again so that you would have that in your mind. It's not only about the desktop, but the remote apps can be published. MSXI Appatach, we will cover that in the upcoming video. So if we talk about the hierarchy, uh, let me do this. This is, uh, this is the, these are the components, session host, host pool, application group, and workspace. Uh, hierarchy goes this way. Let me highlight this. This will help us to understand better. Uh, collection of session host is uh, host pool. Host pool is the collection of identical VMs. Those VMs are called session host. And application group is a logical grouping of applications installed on the session host in the host pool. And if, if we need to understand what is workspace, well, it's nothing but a logical grouping of application groups in AVD. Each AVD application group must be associated with a workspace or users to see the remote apps and desktop published to them. If you have created your host pool, you have your session host, you have, you have assigned it to the application group, but still your users would not be able to access those desktop or applications because you need to, you need to publish that, right? You need to associate that with the workspace because when, when users from their client try to uh, search for AVD through feed URL, they need to, they need to subscribe for that workspace, right? They see the workspace. Okay, so that's how the, the, the hierarchy is, session host, host pool, app group, workspace. And we do have a published application desktop and we do have users to whom we need to give the access. Now let's quickly check out the relations, which is the main theme of this video. And you can easily see, I have, I have borrowed this again with the uh, MS documentation. Uh, and this is the wonderful way to actually understand the relation. That's why I'm not trying to create it by myself and I borrowed it. And let's try to understand that. So if we do not know what is a, a published desktop and application group, well, I've already said it, but it's a Windows desktop environment running on AVD session host and delivered to users over the network. That's where the published desktop is. In a nutshell, if you try to uh, break down when user try to access a virtualized desktop, the request will lend either personalized or pooled uh, VM. That's what is published desktop, okay? Now, this published desktop could be member of one and only one app group. One and only one app group right here. Okay. So all the published desktop and applications can only be part of one application group. That's the important part. Okay. Now, 
application group, we know it's a logical grouping of published application or published desktop, but app group contains, contains one or more published application. Okay. If you see here, it says contain one or more uh, application or desktop. So if you see, you, you, can, you can think this as in tenant, then this is in subscription. Just to understand, just like in tenant, ten can have multiple subscription, but subscription can be hooked up with only one tenant. So all the applications or or or, or, or desktop can connect to only one app group, but app group can have multiple, right? And it does make sense, right? Okay. Now, if you talk about Azure AD user and account groups right here, you can see these could be part of only one tenant because that's where the Azure AD is running, uh, not supported the B2B and B2C, okay? Uh, but AD can contain more than one user. We understand that, right? So let's go ahead and see the most important part, which is workspace. So we are going in this direction, uh, workspace, logical grouping of app groups. Now app group can only be a member of one and only one workspace, but workspace can have one or more app groups. So again, you can again relate this with the same uh, analogy like tenant and subscription. Now app group is behaving like a subscription relation with the tenant in case of workspace. App group can be hooked up to one workspace, but workspace can have multiple app groups, okay? And app group can have multiple published application or desktop. So if we are going from down to up or bottom to up, like this, the relationship is always one, but if we are going this way, it's many, right? Workspace can have one or more app group, app group can have one or more uh, application desktop. But if we go this way, it's only one, but these are not the only components. You do have session host. Well, <clears throat> session host have, again has the same the same thing, session host can be member of one and only one host pool, but host pool can contain one or more uh, session host. We do understand the collection of session host is the host pool. So host pool can have multiple session host, but session host cannot be a part of multiple host pool. It doesn't make any sense, right? So again, it follows the same concept of this arrow and this arrow, right? <laughs> Going upward, it's member one and only one but uh, going downward, like they have more than one. But what about the relationship between host pool and app group? Well, host pool assigned to one or more app groups can be assigned to one and more app group. That's why they are on side by side. But app group can uh, assign to one and only one host pool, okay? So whatever applications are running on your host pools or host pool, you can assign that host pool to multiple application groups because ultimately those applications are running on the session host. So published application or desktop can be part of single app group, but host pool could be a part of multiple application groups. Okay. So that was the relationship video. And that is one of the most important uh, uh, information that I have provided to you guys. And I hope this would be informative. And thank you for watching. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.